Alright, hello and welcome to episode 11, 12, 10, probably 11, of uh, the Ashdod Let's Play. Things are going good. Um, I mean, we, we've been at a stall, more or less, for a while now, but, I mean, things are actually happening. Uh, I've now hit the water with, you know, hit the water running. That's good. Um, let's kick some more troops there, because they are going to attack me there, probably. Um, and let's hand over those water gems to not to her. Um, I did find something out. This guy does actually have a use. He can reanimate troops. And it's not the most useful thing in the world, but whatever, he can reanimate some troops. We can just have him do that basically forever. There's only two corpses here. Damn it. That's not useful. We'll have him go over here and reanimate troops. Or here. I bet there's a ton of dead bodies here. Um, there's a ton here. But he can't go underwater for some stupid reason. Oh, look at you guys trying to be all clever. Mm hmm. That's what you're doing. I can recruit mermen to add to my army. God, mermen suck, though. They're just terrible. Should be ashamed of themselves. Uh, Nazca is in trouble now. They have abandoned their uh, fortress here. So I'm going to take that shit. Our supplies are okay. They're going to be bad in here, which sucks. Here we're doing okay. We are curing diseases and afflictions, so that's good. Um, Under Siege and Shinyama, we'll take that. Things are looking good. We are starving in Dragon Point, which is right here. Uh, we are going to patrol for a turn, though. Actually, nah, we're not. We're just going to leave. And we're going to let Province Defense take care of it. I, I don't need any more guys getting messed up. That's a lot of gold to spend, but uh, I do need that. Uh, I, need, I, need, I need that supplies from there. We're going to bring this army around and finish off Shinyama over here. Um, yep, that's where we are. We still have just god-awful uh, water gem income. I mean, it's not that bad. Plus six. Our biggest problem really is nature gem income. But um, we will have that soon. We're not using any right now. Um, our Ophans will happen pretty soon. Oh, Ophan. Uh, they're just so cool. And there's actually another, and this gives us a couple other things. King of Elemental Fire, which I'm going to want. Uh, King of Elemental Water, which I can make. Ooh, actually, I need to make her. Guardians of the Deep. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, King of Banefires I'll be able to make. That's cool. Never seen that before. Anthrax. Neat. Rakava I'm never going to be able to make, sadly. Um, there is another summon that I seem to have missed. And I need to find it if it exists. There, there are, like, some warriors you can summon. Uh, as a, uh, as Ashdod, I thought. There's sacred warriors you can sh summon. I, I don't see them. Maybe not. But we'll have Ophans next turn. I'm not going to be able to equip them next turn, but we'll, we'll probably just retreat our Hashmals and sacrifice their gear to an Ophan. Uh, they're just, they're that freaking good. And this guy can't make the trip that turn. He'll go next turn. Um, yeah, what the hell.
The air supply usage there is fine. Otherwise, global enchantments, eyes of God are up, Tis has it, uh, it's not great. Um, that gives them a pretty big intel advantage. It'd be more of a problem if I was playing against uh, AI. I don't know if it actually matters with, uh, I don't know if it matters at all with, with my other guys. Um, how many can you carry? You can carry 130. I'm gonna start walking him up. Ah, actually, he can stay. No, yeah, I'm gonna walk him up. I think what I can do is she'll be able to make a uh, something to help um, somebody else breathe underwater, like some water breathing, whatever. And with that, I should be able to. Uh, man, I'm really tempted to set it up so that I can recruit these guys. I really do need the water, whatever. Uh, with that, I can bring one of my undead guys down, one of my Zam, Sam, or whatever's down. Yeah, all right. Zam zoomies. Can you carry regular troops? Not enough to matter. We won't do that. Can you carry magical beings? Not enough to matter. These are these were just a waste. I don't need these. Um, okay. Can I forge anything interesting? Not really. Ah, so many. These are just all awful. All terrible. Vine whip's kind of a cool one. You know, it's like a vine shield, but it's offensive. But um, I'd rather have a vine shield. This is such an amazing one. Uh, power automatically cast power of the spheres, which gives you a plus one to all um, magical levels. I will. I might start making those. I don't know. Fuck it. I can make one right now. Might as well. And they cost. Nah. They cost a lot of astral. It's not worth it. Okay. And do I have any? Lightless Lanterns to give out. I do, I have two. And we will call that a turn. Yeah, we'll call that a turn. Hmm. No, 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 I'm not doing that. I'll put one there. We'll recruit a couple more guys here. You know what? This army could actually probably go and siege that. It's going to take forever to take it. And I actually don't have enough of an army to take it, so we're not going to do that. He's going to go deliver some troops, though. Uh, yeah, it should be fine. And we'll take um, a couple more of them over. One of these has to work. There we go. We'll take them over as well, just to add into the troops. One of them. There we go. Who is sitting in front of the army? Let's not do that. Gets to a point where you're not sure what you've actually set up for anybody. And whoever is coming should bring some death gems to hand over. Do we not have a laboratory? Wow, I never actually built a lab here. Oh, lab here. And remember, well, actually this time he can still do it. Okay, uh, I think that's turn. We're really just waiting for these guys, for the other shooter drop there. It will, but uh, hasn't happened yet. So in turn. I already have all the stuff I need to uh, summon the Ophan, so we'll get that Ophan up next turn. I have another 30 minutes or so, and then i got to pull my pork off. Huh. <laughs> eh, got to pull that 
pork. And then I actually have to pull the pork. I don't know whether I'm going to do carnitas or what, but, um, yeah, so we took that, bet on Shinyama, wrecked it, bet on Aramithia, nailed it, bet on Imric, nailed it. Let's see how well we do against a fair number of Jotuns. Um, yeah, I mean, that's, that's quite a few Jotuns. Let's see how we do. Hashmals are good, but they're, they're not... They're not as good as Ophans, I'll say that. Yeah, I mean, these guys can actually hit me for a decent amount if they can get past my, uh, past the awe. Let's see, how did how much damage did they do? Not enough to matter yet. Sad, though, the Jotuns only count technically as one kill. So if I'm fighting somebody that's really weak, I'll get a lot more kills. Wow, Dragon Point immediately was attacked. But that's good. I'm glad I actually put troops there. Um, hmm. Weird. Okay, so they split their army. So that was a mistake on their part. Uh, we'll take advantage of that shortly enough. Second Forest. So they are starving. Great. And I'm not actually hurting the walls. That's not great. So... I'm going to pull back just so I can pick up these holies. I should have picked them up. I don't know why I didn't. Let's get that Ophan summoned. Uh, you're not the one that's going to summon it. But you do need to set down your gear. I think this is the guy that needs it. It does look like I got another cross path guy, which is great. He will need another skull flame. Which this guy needs to be making. Get back into making those. We'll drop that off just so we have something for him to use. Skull of fire, that's what I mean. Nope. Hollow fun. Boom. So next turn we'll have him. Did something else show up? No. Okay. We're going to forge. So what can we forge? Where's vial of water breathing pills? Where? Why, why don't I have that? A manual of water breathing, which, eh, you know, it's okay. Really, all I need is just for him to be able to go underwater. I do not want to have to build the Sea King's Goblet to do it. It's unnecessary. Should make, no, no, I will not make those. I guess I can't make those. Uh, they must require something special. I can make this. No, I can't. Not easily. But we'll start sieging this way. Break siege there. Um, yeah, just keep recruiting here. Drop off the Tritons we've got. Send him back. And we actually are going to repeat recruit here. I just, I need so many Tritons to make this work. To actually siege with Tritons, I'm going to need a freaking metric F ton. God, I do not want to have to build a freaking goblet thingy. Now this guy's over here, now, and of course, oh god, don't open the tome. Hopefully that's not the silver sarcophagus. Uh, that's something they can't open that's, you know, problematic. We'll keep conquering over here. Jot Jotunheim just looks to be completely wrecked. 
Um, we'll send him back. And this army doesn't need the Zantamite to win. I think it should be okay on its own. We'll just send it in to start messing some guys up. Siege. Broke that siege. I'm going to go ahead and recruit one merman captain, and I'll send him down there, see if we can get recruiting going in other areas here. If I can find a decent recruiting site there, I could really start kicking some serious ass. Is there anything I can recruit here? I can recruit more archers. I've already got 41 of them, though. So we can recruit some heavy infantry. It's not a lot, but actually, you know what? Maybe militia is a better choice. I can recruit a ton of them. They'll soak up some arrows when we try to conquer the, uh, the people. And we're still curing tons of people, so that's great. Go ahead and search while we're here. You need to hand over your death gems. The Zanzamite. I'll wait until he gets fixed up. Still got a chest wound. Not that big a deal. Um, already done basically what I need there, searching wise. Now, I can go ahead and cast Mother Oak now. And we're going to do that. But what are we going to transfer around? We'll transfer Death Gems to Astral and then Astral to Nature. I always have to be really careful when I do this to make sure I'm doing it in the right direction. Oh, I should do Earth Gems too. And we're going to do a really light casting of this. Mother Oak. So you can put extra gems into global spells. Um, It'll increase the strength of them. So I'll do Mother Oak, then I'll do the Fire one next, and uh, that should be good. Research, we've got all we need out of Conjuration. Next, um, I don't know where Blood, Earth, Soil, or whatever it is. Earth, Blood, Deep Well, I can't cast that though. So. Now it's time to start looking at making artifacts. So that's the next thing. We're going to get construction eight, which is going to take ages, but it'll absolutely be worth it. Let's give somebody a lightless lantern. Great. Not a lot going on this turn, you know, but enough to be somewhat interesting. I can't believe I can't actually conquer that. I can't actually hurt that wall. I don't understand how that's possible. But apparently it is. Uh, the Ophans are kick or the Hoshmals are kicking ass over there. That's great. And we're gonna go ahead and end turn. Well, no, we're not. I haven't finished over here. Ugh. I mean. Anything else I can build to give somebody water breathing? I mean, honestly, Robe of the Sea might even be a better option. That requires... I can't do that. Oh, Ring of Water Breathing. Great. So we'll do that. Give it to him. And he'll bring in all those Shade Beasts. We'll actually summon some more. Bring him up with his army of darkness. And uh, can I add to it? No. And um, with that many shade beasts and that many uh, undead riders, this should fall. We'll take that. And with that taken, it's just a matter of sweeping through the rest. 
and we're also sweeping over here so we'll take it we'll finally wipe out the rest of Shinyama um, you know one of the funny advantages of letting hey the mother oak nice of letting these other guys conquer this from time to time is they'll, they'll site search and if they site search and you find it uh, that gets added to yours so we're getting a crazy ass amount of death gems and good amounts of some of these others our fire gem income is high but we don't actually need it to be anyway everybody's moving everybody's moving let's go ahead and give that to our uh, commander what is this dragon helmet yeah everybody moves so with that we will end turn and see where all we get attacked Nazca's, you know, slowly starting to move against us a lot, a little bit more seriously. All right, Mother Oak is cast. Battle in Darkwoods. Conquered it. Saren Forest. Did fine. I don't know where that is. Oh, it's, it's Shinyama. Hashmal took that. Hashmal took that. Shinyama got conquered again. Of course. That got conquered. That's fine. This is the fortress I abandoned. Sinefe. I don't know where that was. Okay. That's So that's a problem. We have to start pushing back against that. So you have a bunch of shade beasts here. That's, you know, something. Oh, actually, no. You're going to drop off everything you've got. And we're giving it all to the Ophon. Oh. Okay. So, that's interesting. Right, so the Ophon tramples. Okay, so we're going to do something goofy here. So they have a fire shield, flying, trample, flame strike. I don't think they, I mean, they don't use an arm to do it. They're ethereal. This time they have a protection of 21. Lifeless, they're not invulnerable sad. Aw, six. Aw, yeah. Patrol bonus. They have no leadership, but because they're priest level three, they can divine blessing. So here's what we're gonna do. Oh, boo. Oh, yeah, I can't give him two copper arms, can I? No, yeah, I can. Can I? Yeah, I can. We're going to give him two copper arms and two shields. And just have his ass trample around on everything. Let's we'll see how well that works. So this Hashmal actually can be rearmed. <laughs> oh, no he can't. He can't make a vine shield. Or he doesn't have a vine shield. So somebody's got to give up a hammer. You can research, buddy. Let's have him monthly cast. Pale Riders. You're going to forge one more ring of water breathing. Freaking opening a tome. Reanimate, damn you. Oh, there's no corpses here. How are there no corpses? There's gotta be some corpses somewhere. Maybe up here? I don't know. We'll look. Long dead, I can technically summon anywhere. We'll 
we'll stick him there for a turn or two while he's uh, recruiting. Everything looks good there. 20 Kappas, no big deal. We'll break Siege. Oh, did I send the wrong army? Nope, I just have two really good armies over there. Let's see, are my... They're in the right place to bless, that's fine. Yeah. Ah, uh, he's heroic too. How many has he killed? Lamy, okay, he just now became heroic. No, oh, fatigue, that's pretty good, I guess. This guy is by far my most powerful. Um, I could give him another shield. It's actually probably the best thing to do. Uh, somebody's got to drop their hammer, though. You can drop yours. Because this guy needs to go back to making vine shields every turn. Boosters are just so important for this to make it work. I mean, I know I have a lot of guys sitting around not doing anything. I know it seems like that. I mean, it actually is like that. These guys are all researching, which is important for me because this is magic research is difficult. And they're defensively very useful in case of busy attacks or satis, which will happen eventually. Look at that, 900 troops. We'll pull back one more. How's that sound? Sounds like a plan. I don't have enough to make that attack. I do have enough to take, make that attack. Oh, but he's missing another mind shield, right? Well, hmm. No, you know what? Those guys are so expensive. Not going to dick around with them. So all they have, they're just wheels. That's crazy. But they're super tough. With the blessing, they'll be even more awesome. Strength 20. That'll be a good, solid trample. Bring that guy up there. Break that siege, take that back. And get all these undead in here. Awesome. Freaking Nazca. I'm not playing particularly good, but uh, whatever. So the Hashmouse took everything. They did good, good boys. Keep conquering there, and we'll uh, we'll siege this. We actually might use the hashmells to siege here, just to keep them from recruiting. I don't know where Jotunheim is. Looks like they lost their capital. I, don't, I have no idea where it is. How are we doing for supplies here? Okay. You know what we're gonna do is um, one of these gives me more supplies, right? These are just siege supplies, Blurg. <sighs> hmm. Yeah, I don't need that. I thought there was something I could build that would just give me more supplies flat out, but guess not. Um, she has a choice for casting a ritual spell now. She can either. Oh, she can't do it yet. Okay, I was going to say she can summon the uh, King of Elemental Fire, but that's... Oh, wait, can't she? Ooh, Fairy Court. Fairy Court will give me access to air magic, which is a big deal. Um, wind Guide, Flaming Arrows, uh, all that together is pretty badass. King of Elemental Fire, that's what we're going to cast. There's only two of them. 
Getting all of them is pretty damn sweet. I want more shade beasts. We'll give him one of those rings of water breathing. Mm. Shade beasts. Great. Otherwise, things are looking good. Oh, uh, do not just sit there on your own, dum dum. She will not take part in the siege. I can tell you that right now. But, um, oh, that's why we weren't damaging the walls. Because that army was behind him. So, that's not good. If we can catch that army out on the uh, field of battle, we will destroy it. I can actually summon another Ophan, and we're going to go ahead and do that. These guys are actually powerful enough that you can just send them out as is, and they will kick some ass. But for 50 uh, Astral Pearls, I'd rather do a little bit of gearing for them. And I'd say we're good. So we'll end turn. You know, I'm wondering if two vine shields is the right call. If I can get a shield that will uh, have some other like reflective offensive power, that would probably be a better choice. We'll see. Darkwood's been conquered. <clears throat> no surprise. Let's just look. Oh, son of a bitch. I left those guys there. Traveler's Rest. What happened? I don't understand what happened here. Oh. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for Thornwoods. Huh. That's actually pretty funny. So they sent 120 guys up against my sacreds that were not even blessed. And most of them died. Zabalba took it. Uh, I mean, we're just holding the uh, fortress now. But yeah, Traveler's Rest, Dathan, nice, Misty Bog, lost a priest, killed a bunch of Bagimono. I don't know why, but this one has just always been a pain in the ass for me. Take that back. And we will keep going and siege this shit. I'm not even gonna try to break the walls. Uh, we are just we're gonna hold it for as long as possible, and um, go in the old-fashioned way. Basically, if you hold out long enough, uh, you'll just win. We'll probably do it that way. No more of them. Good. Let's see, can I summon... How are there no corpses? I don't really get that. There should be some, right? Um, I think we'll hold, so we'll go back there. Here, we're saving them for a siege. We don't need them. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Keep doing that. St um... Not twice born. Hell Raiders. We'll take this back. And we'll give this Ophan copper arm and a vine shield. And we're going to look for something better to uh, equip him with. Let's look at what we're recruiting here. Alright, we've got four now. Actually, alternatively. No, I need the. I'm gonna. Need, I want to use these bigger guys. Um, two vine shields is a little ridiculous. So, ooh, you are. What are you? You are a sacred, or you're a hero. When did you show up? Now, here's what's cool. This guy, when boosted think can summon a Merkava with one maybe wow 
I mean, good lord. Boy, that's probably, that might be worth it. That will take me 10 turns to research. Alternatively, I can get to artifacts faster. Artifacts will be more useful. But, um, Merkava will be useful eventually. Let's look at other possible shields. Do a shield of gleaming gold, which will give me an awe bonus. Always cool. And a little bit more protection. Charcoal shield. Already got fire shield, so who cares? Luck could be useful. Fire resistance. Blurred. We're just going to use him as is for right now. I want to see, I want to watch him work. Let's make sure to actually script him. Uh, that'd be terribly tragic. Might as well just Divine Blessing and Holy Avenger. And then attack rearmost. Alright, so now I've got Ra. Ra. So he can forge some cool stuff. I don't really need him forging any of this, though. What I'm going to have him do is uh, summon allies. Actually, I'm going to bring him down here, and then I'm going to have him summon allies. And I'm going to go ahead and summon... Uh, I don't have enough fire gems to do it. At some point, I will uh, summon the other one. Now, I am Earth 4. 27 nature. What is my nature gem income? I think I got an extra 10 now, or maybe an extra 15 from that. Can't do another King of Elemental Fire. Fairy Court might be the next one. Although, I would prefer to have Wild Hunt going. Wild Hunt is crazy. Okay. Um, I don't think I've lost anybody to my Lightless Lanterns yet, which is really cool. I mean, look how awesome these guys are at researching now. 24. And that is without... This guy could actually probably go ahead and make some... Uh, make some Alquils. Over here, things are looking good. Still making Lightless Lanterns. I'm never going to stop making those. Um, got a bunch of troops there. I don't really need any more. I do need a couple here. Should do one quick round of recruitment there. Oh, yeah. Let's recruit a commander for them. We'll throw a couple of them in as well. We'll transport that commander over. So he did take an injury. Um, attack minus four, attack minus one, defense minus one. We'll pull him off the front line. Well, we can't do that just yet. We'll set him here. Zibalba supplies are amazing here, so I don't have to worry about it. Um, oh. Alright. They attacked us here. We'll move that army down. And probably start starving immediately. But whatevs. Uh, I'm going to have to call this episode short. Um, I have to go uh, check on my pork. So I will be back later. Adios.